Hello guys, it's been some time since we discussed the Tomb Raider remaster. So uh, we have some great news. Uh, for example, firstly, there is PlayStation Black article uh, written by Aspire. So they gave us some incredible details about the new Tomb Raider remaster. So we should check, uh, we should check them and see what's up with the new new game and what's coming up was not so if it's going to be great if it's going to meet our satisfac satisfactions or not so yeah we're all just gonna see and discuss together so yeah we have some information about about aspire and tomb raider franchises past so if you don't know it uh, the mac port macintosh macintosh ports of tomb raider games uh, were made by aspire so they were you know kind of included in the uh, ports, remasters like Spyro remasters and some great projects. So, so they're really passionate group Aspires and I don't have any doubt about them. So yes, I actually love the new editions because we only just saw one trailer and that's it. For months we have just one trailer and nothing else, but <clears throat> finally uh, in, in the last week we have some great news like controls we can change controls from this menu which is a great addition because it's so it's so much close to the original original UI and I love it you know you can see uh, there you can switch between tank controls and modern controls change controls and so on we have also have sensitivity sensitivity <laughs> and some other great feature is legend anniversary underworld camera like controls you know uh, we can rotate the camera with analog stick or mouse if you use pc obviously and they actually say it in here uh, they were inspired by crystal dynamics legend era yeah i mean legend anniversary underworld era of the tomb raider game so we can rotate the camera with the right stick uh, full we have full camera control not fixed camera angle and ladder moves directionally based on camera position so what it means is it's it's no tank controls anymore obviously you can change to the tank controls if you like it but it's not you can finally play these great games with modernish controls <laughs> like legend anniversary underworld controls i mean even today we we, we can play legend is so easily it's uh, you know it's it's getting older beautifully each year uh, the game is still head of a playable game so yes we also have boss health bars uh, which is great and if you if you if you're following the fan made uh, fan made mods like to one main, uh, we we could like we could actually, uh, you know, toggle uh, toggle on and off the enemy bars head bars, and it's great it's great to see that in an official project it's also it also applies too, so it's a great addition and 3D pickups obviously I mean look at these textures man look at the difference this is amazing see how much pixelated this is i mean it's great for 97 standards it's a <laughs> it's the tomb raider 2 is a legendary game no doubt about it but in this picture you can see i mean it's just the way we, we saw it back when we were child we, we saw it we saw it like in these graphics it's so smooth it's so perfect the rtx uh, elements the ray tracing elements uh, you know kind of makes the light lighting perfect and I love it. I adore it. I don't know what else I can say. So we have 3D item surprise. We we mentioned it, and we also have some achievement. Actually, not achievement, but trophies. Trophies is the right way to say it. So we have finally a great way, a great meaning to play these games all over again, and you know, put up some challenges for ourselves. I mean, it's a great replayability. You know, you finish the game. You going some. You you're going for some trophies, details, challenges. I mean, even locking locking Vincent up is a great way to earn trophies. It's a trophy. Yeah, uh, they say my personal favorite locking the butler in the fr uh, freezer. Sorry, Vincent. They say uh, you know. 
uh, manner of speaking. It's just a great way to <laughs> finally, after all these years, make it a achievement. It's great. It's just great. So, I mean, in the Ri Rise of the Tomb Raider, there was a Easter egg in Croc Manor DLC, if you remember it. Uh, Blood Ties, I think it's the official name of it. So, yeah, in this, I mean, this is finally an achievement. I mean, it's so classic. It's such a classic moment. So, we have photo mod, and there's something bugging me out in this photo mod. I hope we can change the outfits before selecting a level after we've finished the game in new game in new game plus i mean uh, it would be much greater to change uh, change our outfits you know it's so important to me i mean it's, it's also another great replayability reason so in photo mode we can also change the outfit weapons i mean if you holster holster weapon down or you know draw your weapons and so on and the face neutral angry happy and so on uh, the pose we we have so many great details so in i hope n we uh, we can also choose outfit not not only in photo mod but also in the game as well so we they say we have also more surprises but we don't want to spoil it for you so this is it guys this is the main updates about the game and we can also some see some differences in the game as well let me check my recording okay it's fine so yeah it's also look great i mean two meter three south south pacific yeah it's, it's just great man it's just great and we have crop manor we have also lost valley and south pacific i forgot the level what was it after the crash site and mother yes mother Gorge or Joe or, or I don't know how to pronounce it <laughs> so cor correct me in the comment section please and one thing I gotta mention I mean one thing I adore is the new model it's a great mixture of FMV model and in-game model you know the lipstick the face eyebrows and the FMV and the beauty of the FMV model it's a great mixture of both of them and I adore it it's great I mean, I don't know what you what you think about it, but when I see the comments, the opinions of the fan base, I always see some gr great feedbacks about the new model. So I'm sure you love it too. Yeah, and some other uh, good example, some other good detail about the games games are the new out outfits. I mean, just look at them: the Croc Manor outfit the classic and bumper jacket antarctica outfit and maria doria uh, swimsuit swimsuit suit <laughs> i can't speak and the you know tomato 2 manor outfit london south pacific which looks amazing in this remaster as well i mean it's so close to the original it's great they didn't ruin and they don't ruin anything with the new outfit and with the model it looks even better you know and the final outfit yeah <laughs> in Tomb Raider 2 so the rope actually <laughs> so it's great I love it and it's a great feature you know the model the outfits they've done it perfectly almost perfectly and I hope they uh, fixes the some texture texture problems you know problems with texturing uh, some wrong textures, texture placements, and all that too. But I'm sure uh, they're they're able to do that. Yeah. So in the other details are like this. The language support is amazing. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be this wide. So you know, these are all the languages that are supported. You know, the subtitles the language and these are voiceover language uh, so in addition to english we have french voice german japanese and russian too uh, ui it also applies to, to all the other languages obviously i mean look at this this is a great a great uh, wide of language support i mean it's just great 
and it also applies in almost all the platforms. Yeah, we uh, we have simplified Japanese in I think in Steam PC version, but not in, on the console versions, so it's normal. And yeah, this is about. It. I mean, there is even Turkish language, which is my first language. So I was kind of, I was I was kind of surprised to see Turkish language in support sections as well. Uh, there was there were some w uh, worries about Spanish language as well, but don't don't worry, do not worry. We have Spanish version too, so which is going to be uh, amazing right here. But I kind I kind of I mean. I'm just learn, learning Spanish, uh, so uh, it doesn't, you know, do me any f do, do me any favor or anything else. But it would be great to see uh, Spanish voiceover as well. I mean, Spanish is the is the most popular, most spoken language after English. I mean, you know, you know what I mean. It would be great to see. It, but other than that, the language support is also amazing. So yeah, guys. This is all the great updates and news about the upcoming Tomb Raider remasters. It's so, it's just so close, guys. It's just so close, and I can't wait. It. I can't wait for it any longer. So yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, it's gonna be amazing. So thank you for watching, and thank you for supporting me, watching this video, liking this video, and subscribing to this video. If you love this kind of stuff, Tomb Raider stuff mainly, you can always check out my channel, comment, and like my videos and more importantly subscribe to my channel and become a permanent subscriber and if you have any questions just feel free to ask me or anything uh, I'm also trying to be active on X as well so you can kind of follow me on social media too so yeah that's all about it and I'll see you guys later